happening now. Today it kicked off three days of tax-free shopping in Oklahoma for clothes and shoes. You know, Fox 23's Michelle White went to Woodland Hills Mall in Tulsa to talk to shoppers. She's back here at the station live now with what shoppers are saying about this. Michelle. Shay and Sarah, since 2007, Oklahomans have, invo have enjoyed this tax-free shopping on the first weekend of August. But it only applies to clothes and shoes and not school supplies. Still, lots of people were out taking advantage of this for their back-to-school shopping. This is how busy Tulsa's Woodland Hills Mall was around midday this afternoon. Busier than a normal Friday, mall management says. The tax-free holiday applies to anything that you can wear on your body, clothes, shoes, and hats, as long as it's less than $100. Alicia McLean says that's what brought her and her daughter Maya out to the mall on Friday. Oh, I do. I look forward to it every year. You know, always an opportunity to save a few bucks, um, you know, as we're getting ready for back to school, for sure. But not everyone supports this tax-free weekend. The Oklahoma Municipal League put out this statement. Oklahoma is the only state in the nation where municipalities are funded solely through sales tax dollars. OML has a long-standing policy of opposing any legislation that will preempt a municipality's ability to collect sales tax. In the Oklahoma legislature, there is a bipartisan effort to add school supplies to the tax-exempt items for tax-free shopping. Senator Blake Stevens is a former educator working on that bill. But, um, we can come to the table and look at this. If, it's, if, if, if it doesn't make sense and I'm not seeing why it doesn't make sense, I'm obviously uh, all ears because I don't want to put um, you know, any, kind of, uh, any kind of burden um, on our, our taxpayers that's not already there. So. And that tax-free shopping will continue until midnight on Sunday, and that includes retail locations and online. In Tulsa, covering news that matters, Michelle White, Fox 23 News.